Hundreds of bid now looking for three and a quarter. If it go three twenty-five, three hundred twenty-five dollar bid. I'm at three hundred. Last call, all in, all done for this lovely, beautiful clock. We're gonna sell it now and sold three hundred dollars. I guess first off, my name is Dan Newman with Alaska Premier Auctions and Appraisals. I am a certified auctioneer and personal property appraiser. When I established the company, there were some key pillars and principles that I wanted to lay the foundation for. One of the biggest things is the, the honest, open, ethical, transparent way of doing business that an auction house should do. Ready to be sold tomorrow. One of the things that spoke to me about being an accredited business through the Better Business Bureau is having that mindset of, hey, they have done their due diligence. So we deal in what's called, you know, I call them the four Ds, right? Death, divorce, downsizing, and departing from the state. Those are all scenarios where people are gonna wanna sell inventory. If they don't wanna deal with it themselves, they can hire us, and uh, we like to do a good job and take care of them and help them sell off whatever they got. So my name is Nick Klein. I'm uh, the lead auction coordinator here at Alaska Premier Auctions and Appraisals. Favorite show growing up was Antiques Roadshow, so it kind of fits the kind of fits the personality. Over the last decade, maybe even 15 years, there's been a gradual push towards more and more online sales. You typically think auction, you typically think, you know, a guy on a po or podium with a gavel. Electronics have made the auction atmosphere completely different than it was, you know, even 15, 20 years ago. So we have sent inventory shipments to Europe, to Canada, to Australia, down to the lower 48. A stigma that's been seen in the auction industry is that people can easily get taken advantage of, right? Auctioneers can sometimes be known as fast talkers, kind of slick guys that can pull one over on you or make you bid against yourself, right? We like to keep it open, honest, and transparent. So you can see exactly the bidding history and the bidder numbers who are there and who you're bidding against. Because it'd be very easy to, as the saying goes, pull a bid out of the chandeliers and act like you've got another bid. But it's not worth the long-term relationship or credibility that you could potentially lose if you get caught. And, and people appreciate that because they know that you're looking out for their best interest. <laughs>